Good morning to your daily news update from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. Yesterday, everybody who wanted to short equities had a nice risk reward ratio. If you look at the DAX, there is a major resistance at 10,800. So everybody who was um, thinking about, okay, there could be a bounce off of that resistance um, for price to go lower afterwards, they had a nice stop level at 10,860, 10,870. Because everybody would have known that if the DAX would rise to 10,860, 10,870, there would be high probability that they go through that resistance directly. But it's a major resistance and so chances are that prices are um, first actually consolidating or bouncing off of that resistance, which they do. We are trading at 10,730 this morning, so everybody who went short yesterday has um, some, some gains this morning, so comfortable situation for the short sellers this morning. Apple contributed to the uh, more bearish tone uh, tonality in the market. They had the third quarter actually of decreasing iPhone sales numbers. So even the iPhone 7 has not really turned the corner for their sales numbers for their smartphone. Um, there. So some negative ton tone in the market, some negative sentiment um, this morning. But if you look at the seasonality, it's just um, the DAX and the European equity markets are following the seasonal pattern just perfectly. So everybody who is trading short um, and stays in that short position um, for, for a longer time is actually trading against the trend and is trading against the uh, seasonal pattern. So might be interesting to see how long they will really stay in their selling and short positions. Yesterday in Berlin there was a fight of the titans, so to say. It was Mario Draghi, president of the ECB, and Wolfgang Schäuble, our, the German finance minister, speaking at the same time simultaneously in Berlin. It was Mario Draghi actually saying that the um, ECB accepts and knows that banks are hurt by the negative interest rates, um, the interest, negative interest rate scheme of the ECB. At the same time, Wolfgang Schäuble said that, um, that actually monetary or that there is a global consensus that monetary policy hit its limits. And uh, Wolfgang Schäuble said that we, uh, not Wolfgang Schäuble, but Mario Draghi then said we don't have any sign that credit is, uh, of the loose monetary policy is feeding into financial stability risks. At the same time, we know in Germany that the German government is preparing measurements to fend off a potential housing bubble. So there is a lot of things moving there. Could be some surprises coming from a monetary policy side in the next week. So watch the ECB policy and speeches closely. From Austria, they have been announcing and they, that they want to profit um, from the low interest rate environment. They are, are about to place a 2 billion euros government bond with a duration until November of the year 2086, which is a 70 year bond. They will pay 1.5% of interest on that bond. So that is quite interesting from what you hear from Reuters and other news agencies. There are a lot of investors actually already in the rows to buy that uh, bond because, yeah, get us the 1.5% uh, interest rates. That's attractive. And so they go into that bond that should, be, uh, should really auction well. If you compare 1.5%, if that is something that is interesting, then it could travel upwards in the risk curve and uh, invest in equities where you have an equity price risk. But at the same time, you get a dividend yield of around 25 to 3%, which is just double that bond. And it's an attractive yield um, to invest into. So that's quite attractive. Um, still, at least when you look at the euro equity valuations, they're quite attractive relative to Wall Street they have some potential to catch up. From an economic perspective, if you look at the EFO business sentiment uh, for Germany, it went to a two and a half year high. So very positive signs there. At the same time, France reported the steepest fall in jobless in the jobless rate ever recorded in a single month. That was a reporting uh, period was September. So that is quite a positive sign. If you look at the inflation rate, which I said in the video yesterday, 
if you look at the inflation rate, if it is really going to double until the end of the year, which the Bundesbank, which Mario Draghi expect for the Eurozone and Germany, so a doubling of it, the inflation rate would serve potentially very, very well for the um, uh, European and German equity markets because first they have a catch-up potential, the valuations are low, and investment funds fled euro equities after the Brexit referendum um, in record numbers, actually, because they feared that after the Brexit referendum, the economy is going to, to, to dive lower, and that as a result of that um, weakening of the economy, there might be a deflation coming and deflation is bad for stocks. And so they went out of the Eurozone and Euro equities. But if they now accept and think and start to think that the uh, economy hasn't really um, dived lower, but it's, the, the economy is growing again, the positive signal from an economic perspective. And if they know and see that there are positive signs from an inflation development perspective, then they might diversify back from their U.S. stocks uh, overweight to go a little back at least into the DAX and Euro stocks, which serves, which should actually serve well for the DAX and for Euro equities, which could recouple to Wall Street.